isn't this just exciting? Hopefully you can see behind me, you can probably see some hay wagon racks. You see the baler? Yeah. Yep, going to the field, Brad's raking. Now I'm bringing the baler to him. We, uh, you know, had to deal with yesterday's baling leftovers like unloading this morning. Do the chores, feed the cows, feed the chickens, blah, blah, blah. Get behind and seem like it's late in the day already before we ever get going with the big project. See so, yep, we're rolling. Baylor three wagons. Wagons are pulling like a dream, nice and straight. Let's see what it looks like in the rear view mirror. Other than extremely loud and windy, it's, it's, a, it's a nice ride. What do you think? Farm part will be when we make a turn. Yeah, this is a, a nice long contraption. Hey, we're legal. We got our seat belts on. Everything has a slow moving vehicle sign. It's all kosher, right? Oh, hey, look, somebody else is bailing hay. Let's see what they're hauling. Looks like some round bales. Well, I guess they won't fall off. Something tells me they were buying those. Because most people who bale hay have a, a trailer better suited for hauling hay. That looks like a car trailer all loaded up. Ah, uh, but they were team strap, being safe. Good job, guys. I don't think they'll lose anything. The load may look ugly, but because of the rails, the bales were tipped in. They'll be good. Well, we'll catch up with you guys when we get to the field. Isn't this just a peaceful view? A little blue tractor bouncing around. Yeah, this is a new hay field that I think was bush hogged the opposite way when it was too wet of how we're mowing it. But it did not seem this crazy when I mowed it. Of course, the ground has had time to dry out and get harder. Typically, it's not too bad. Um, well, I'd say when I mow it, it's usually right after a rain, so the ground can be a little soft. And then if it has a few days to dry, I mow this Wednesday. This is now Saturday. So it's had four days. It's plenty dry. It'll be good. We'll be out here, you know, hopefully get our three wagons filled, maybe more. I mowed pretty thick. I, uh, yeah, I don't know if there was a good way to do this. I, Brad's pretty good. I used to tell him to go rake and well, it, it turns out in the windrows and it looked pretty darn nice. Now, what do you think? Nice and straight. No globs or blobs. Real smooth windrows. If you're on the, uh, the Hay Kings Facebook page, everyone's been going crazy about, you know, their, their raker making nice windrows. That's the problem is I've been out of practice. I raked some yesterday. I guess it turned out okay. Hasn't been bailed yet. Dad will round bail it tomorrow. It's the only nice thing of having seven dry days right now. Is that I got a lot, of, a lot of leeway. Mow a whole bunch and we'll bail it as we get to it. It'll be nice windows. We'll be able to bail this in second gear. Bebop along. Brad promised me to stop shooting video so I can uh, get him some power steering fluid. Yeah, that's my problem. All three of the little Fords use it at different rates. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess I haven't checked to see how many other Ford tractors out there seem to use a little bit of fluid.
breezy, but we're enjoying the breeze. It'll make this bearable. Let's see how long that is. Truck, baler, wagon, wagon. Each wagon 16 foot long, plus some hitching room. So, you know, there's 50 feet of wagons. The baler's another 15 in the truck. They're probably 80 feet long. No worse than a semi, right? Maybe a few less horsepower, but, a, you know, a lot less weight. This is my favorite part about this baler. You got a nice jack and everything. So I can unhitch, get the truck out of the way, ready for the tractor, stack a few wagon loads of hay, get a good workout and all that CrossFit. Some people like to call them the idiot blocks. I think that's a terrible term. We don't want to demean the people who buy these because they give us money and we'll gladly accept it. So we will not use the term idiot blocks when describing hay. Oh, even though we all think it, you know, it's okay. Let's see, we got to grab PTO. Didn't want to lose that going down the road. Lovely stand. Very important. Love that little snap ring or collar, whatever they call it. Did I get it? No, I did not. Or did I? Wow, first try. Got the little knob on the shaft to slide in the tube of the other. Perfect. Well, we're unhitched. I guess we can pull a couple pins from the wagons. We don't need to pull three wagons around while we bail. We're not that crazy. Not like we're bailing that big of a field. Got our liquid refreshment jugs. It's got to climb under here. These are the days when you find out how many hitch pins you own when you hook everything together. Everything. Oh, and I guess we'll unhook this one too. Now, why'd this pull so well over here? It trailed really well. Well, the anhydrous gear will always pull straight. And sometimes these wagons don't wiggle too bad. This one may. And I got down here and looked at that earlier today. Right there is where it's wearing. The pin's wearing. I don't know if the hole is wearing. But the pin's wearing a little bit. Might look at a, a new pin this winter. This wagon doesn't weave, but that's what that's the only play I can find is that one pivot pin. It's not always nice when they trail straight. Wiggly wagons find their way to somebody else's farm to be their problem. Whew. Well, Brad's getting pretty close. You're going to need my help here soon. There's one behind that pine tree and the tall, I can't tell if that is going to have my glasses on, tree. There's a ditch. And I got across it with the hay bind, but it was not something I want to drag the square baler across. So I had to do some searching and a little rigging up to, uh, to make a passable crossing point. Because we're going to get all the hay. I see the grass, I mow the grass, and then we put string around it. We like that hay that likes to be tied up. Yep. Woo! It looks like, yep, here comes Brad. We'll catch you guys with bailing action here shortly. We do the rows, long rows first, and then clean up the headwinds in case things went awry. Usually turning around and stuff. You, you might as well not rake the headwinds to do it last. That way you can clean up the mess at, at the end. You guys could say that's the downfall. You can't pick up a bar rake. But the bar rake, that lifting action, gets the hay off the ground doesn't roll it. If you could go fast enough, it'll about throw the hay. It'll flip the windrow through the air to a full somersault. Some fields don't allow for that. That's a whole other topic about, about the, the fields we mow. It's, uh, and why they may not be smooth. And what power I have or have not over affecting that. We are putting twine around the bales now. Isn't it just lovely? 
28 switched over and now we're stacking. Unfortunately, we gotta look into the sunlight to see Braille stacking. He wanted to stack first. He got tired of uh, driving. So yet again, I haven't stacked a single bale. We've made 450 bales before today and I haven't touched a single one on the wagon. Now, we unloaded 240-something at home. So I touched those going in the barn. But uh, between the bailing hay on halves and the custom work, yeah, where we bailed hay on halves, the, uh, the getter of the half stacked hay on the wagon for me. So I uh, didn't spend too much time. I spent a lot of time sitting. I'm getting lazy this hay season. Jeez. I don't know. I'll probably stack the next wagon. We'll come around. We're working our way across backwards. This one headland at the far side gets really close to those pine trees by the truck. So we uh, don't, don't want to take out the branches with the back of the wagon. We'll sneak through here, get this little windrow. Yeah, that, that's a little treacherous patch getting across that ditch. We're gonna stack the first wagon six high. Get an idea for about how how many wagons we're gonna need. I hope we need all three. More hay is good hay. The goal would be if we stack three wagons six high, we get another 450 bales and double the count on the baler. And last year we finished out like 3,000. So that would, that would be just short of a third of a season. And hopefully there's more hay to go after that. I was happened to be refilling the tractor with fuel at home and getting ready to leave again. And I had somebody pull on the drive wanting me to bail their little patch of hay instead of them looking on it. I still have to go look at it. But there's a lot of good grass hay that just gets bush hogged around here. It's in small little patches. You just got to be willing to go get it. And yes, sometimes the ground can be rough, uh, but free hay is free hay. You go a little slower. Time may be money, but free hay is a lot more sometimes. Especially with how crops started out, hay is going to carry the team this year heavily. 